Hey there YouTubers. So I'm back with another video about virtualization and using QEMU. This time I'll be talking about passing through USB devices to your virtual machine. There will be two ways of doing it in this video. One is by uh, host bus and host address. And the other one is by vendor ID and product ID. So let's get started. Uh, let's go back to our script. Pretty much where we left off, the only difference is I got rid of the USB tablet option because we will be using a mouse, an actual mouse, so we don't need to deal with the relative positioning. And the other option is I deleted the boot D option because it wasn't really doing anything. So let's get started with USB devices. To add a keyboard and a mouse in this case, or anything else you want. It can be any USB device. USB device, USB host, comma, host bus, equals, comma, host address, equals, slash okay now how do we know what the host bus and host address of a usb device is well ls usb is your friend if you want a more detailed view dash v for verbose it works even better but let's make it simple okay bus is right here Wherever device and then the device ID uh, or the address, I mean, is right next to it. And we have uh, Logitech, Logitech, and another Logitech right here. Okay, we'll do two, the two Logitechs, and this one, so bus one and device two and seven. So let's do bus one the other one i will keep for the for the next host let's copy it and i said two and seven okay why do i have another uh, logitech unifying receiver plugged in well uh, you might get an error if you are trying to pass through your only mouse so have a spare mouse basically um, that should Take care of that problem. Okay, now uh, let's save it. Helps a lot. And uh, we will have to, for this, we will have to run this command as a super user. So let's become root. And let's run the virtual machine. And there it goes. And Pretty soon, we should have a functioning virtual machine with a mouse and a keyboard. Okay, you can see I have two cursors, each one controlled by a different mouse. So this works, same for keyboards. Uh, and uh, right here, you can see, yeah, two different keyboards. Okay. So that takes care of that. Let's go over the other method. Let's shut it down. Okay. We can either comment this out or we can just delete it. Uh, let's see. We don't need it, so let's make it simple. Okay. To add uh, another device, we'll have to specify it. USB device, USB host. We'll go by the vendor ID. 
equals and the product ID. ID equals. Okay, vendor ID, product ID, simple. Right here, vendor ID. As you can see, all the Logitechs are the same. 046D. So let's do that. 046D. One thing, it's not it's not that simple. It would be too easy uh, because it's in, uh, I believe, hexadecimal. Uh, zero X, you have to put that in front of it. But that's all, zero X. We'll have to do the same for the product ID. Regardless of what it is, this has to go in front of it, zero X. And the number is, one of them is C339. Oh, well, let's uh, copy this. And the other one is uh, something similar, C539. Let's save it again. And let's run the virtual machine. Okay, there we go. Our virtual machine is ready. Again, we have a mouse and a keyboard. Okay, we can see that, we can turn it off. And that's that for this video. In the next video, I'll be talking about uh, passing uh, a whole controller, whole USB controller to a virtual machine. So I'll see you in the next video.